features that are easily available within Exo Business, but we've found that a lot of customers just don't know about them. What I'm going to do is start by going to my stock area and having a look at the stock items grid. You're probably familiar with this screen if you're an Exo Business user, it just brings up a list of all of your stock items where you can search and find the one you're after. Now most of you would be aware that if you click on a column heading, it will sort it. If I click again, it will sort it the other way. But another useful feature that you have here that a lot of people don't know about is the multi-sort. Now let's say I wanted to sort all my items by the primary stock group, but then sort them further by another column as well. Well, I can stop, uh, click on my primary stock group here, and that will sort it. And then by holding down the shift key on the keyboard and then clicking on another column, it will do a secondary sort. As you can see, it's sorted by the primary group, and then within each group, it's sorted it by price. Now I can continue to sort by holding down shift and then clicking on another column as many times as I like. I can sort the opposite way, and then if I wanted to keep this as a permanent layout, I can of course right click in my column headings and then save those column settings, and it will remember that. Another really useful feature on these screens that a lot of people don't know about is the ability to save the form position. Now what that means is that let's say I wanted my stock item details screen to always come up maximized. I can maximize it, right click up in the title bar here, go to form position and then save. Now likewise I could have it over to the left of my screen, another monitor, whatever you like. If I close this now, and go back to my stock item search, you'll see it comes up maximized just like I left it. Really handy if you've got particular preferences on how you want to view certain screens and you can do that right throughout the software. Let's have a look at another feature now within our reporting along the same lines. I'm going to go to my reports, down to sales reports and run a stock group sales. I'll just preview this report first it's really basic, it just shows you a summary of sales and margin summarised by my primary stock groups over a particular period, in this case February to March. Now that's really good, but let's say I wanted to take that information and display it graphically. Well, obviously that can be done within the report designer, but that takes a lot of technical skill within the report builder itself. But if you're familiar with Excel, what I can do is go over to my grid tab. This is available on all Exo Business reports and shows us the raw data behind the report. Now I can, just like on any Exo grid, right click in the column headings, go to copy to clipboard, say yes, and then easily take this information and paste it into Excel. Now once I've got this information in Excel, I can then graph it. I'll just expand these columns so you can see there are my stock groups and this column here was the sales value. So if I um, go into my insert here and choose a chart, I'm just going to do a basic column chart. Move that over to the right and make it a bit bigger so you can see. The next step is to select your data. I'll use this little button here to take me back into Excel and I'm just simply going to highlight these two columns here. Come back in, OK, and that's it, job done. Now obviously I can go further and uh, change my titles and colours and, and make it fancy and change it to 3D, but at a very basic level I've taken the raw data from the report and turned it into a nice graph, which I can then print or insert into some management reports or whatever I want to do from here. There you go, well hopefully you found that useful. And stay tuned for some more videos with some really uh, handy hints for using your EXO business.